everybody. So today I'm going to talk about failure to launch one last time. So in order to get into this, let's go to Luke chapter 5 and we're going to start with verse 1. And it says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him, referring to Jesus, to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Genesar and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. So they were done for the day. They caught nothing. They're cleaning up. They're ready to go home. Packing away, right? And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answered him, said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. So what am I referring to here? Well, <clears throat> obviously they had done this before. They were done. They were packing up. They hadn't caught anything. So these were, these were fishermen. This was their occupation. They did this day in, day out. They knew what they were doing. They knew how to go out. They knew how the times when they needed to go out and they still caught nothing. So at this point, they're highly discouraged and they don't want to do this anymore. So they're packing up like we're done. I'm over this, right? But it says here that Jesus shows up, gets in their ship, and then tells them to launch out into the deep and let down your next four drop. I'm sorry, we were just out there. There was nothing. What do you mean go back out there, right? But it says Simon answered him and said, we've pulled all night. We have nothing, kind of like how we do. Lord, I see nothing. I have nothing. All the stuff you promised me, I don't see none of this. I'm done, right? I'm not going to go forward with any of this anymore. But it says, after that, he says, he's, after he gave this whole little venting moment to the Lord, he was like, well, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. So I don't know what situation you're in right now. I don't know what it looks like right now. I don't know what you've been believing God for, but you may feel like, I don't feel like doing this anymore. One more time, it's not going to make a difference. But the difference is that you're being obedient to God. And if you have a word from God, because it says here, nevertheless, at thy word. So he stepped out in faith on the word that God gave him to launch those those to launch out into the deep and drop those nets one last time. If you fail to obey God one last time, regardless of what you've been doing, regardless of the results you've had before, you just might miss the miracle that he's setting up for you, that he's been setting up all those other times he's been building up to this. So I want to encourage you today to drop down those nets and launch out one last time. Don't miss your miracle.